guys, it's Tom from Fishview TV here today with another video. Today I want to talk about jerk baits, and not just any jerk bait, the Mega Bass Vision 110. Um, a lot of people have been throwing these lately, and I just want to go over: is it really worth spending twenty-five dollars for a jerk bait? There's a lot of jerk baits out on the market, anywhere from you know seven dollars all the way up to ones like these, twenty-five dollars. Um, I've never really thought it was worth it. Uh, to go all the way to the Mega Bass Vision 110s. Um, one thing in particular is just the price. Uh, and there's a lot cheaper ones out there on the market that I've been doing really fine with. Um, but why don't we just go over why these are so expensive. Um, when Mega Bass set out to make a jerkbait, they really, really wanted to make a good jerkbait. And you can see that here. This thing's got tungsten rattles and a weight balance system that is unlike any other. You can really see it here in this more translucent bait. These are tungsten and they'll fly back when you're casting. And that's really where the big difference for me is, is casting this in the wind is a breeze, a literal breeze. Um, so that's really good. And really these hooks, um, I've actually put them, I've actually bought these separately just to put them on different kinds of baits because of how good they are. These baits, as you can see, they've been heavily used, not by me, I actually found these, but these hooks are still going really, really strong, um, and that's really good. Um, you get three, of course, uh, and really, you these are all really good components of the bait, but really where it's at is the lip design, in my opinion. You know, you can find a lot of baits just like this um, out on the market, but none are really as responsive as this one. Um, one reason for that, I think, is really just this cup. and. Uh, in the bill right there as you can see um, and really what that does it just makes it more reactive and off to the side when you fish a bait kind of like the um, Rapala Shadow Wrap nothing against those baits because they're really good um, just the only thing with those is that they feel a lot more mushy when you're jerking them through the water these are much much more responsive as you can tell uh, but that's, that also just comes with the price now, here's the real question. Is it really worth spending this much money? And if you ask me, it depends on the way you fish. When I fish jerkbaits, I fish around riprap. These bills are the worst things to fish around riprap, and I'll tell you why. They break off very, very easily. Um, so if you live up north and fish for smallmouth, suspended, this is a great bait. But if you don't, there are other baits that are really good for fishing rock and that kind of stuff. Here's one of my favorite jerk baits of all time. This is a Lucky Craft Slender Pointer. Um, it retails for about eighteen dollars, which is pretty pretty high on the on the price line of these. But really, you it's a smaller bait first of all. But really, if you look at this bill, you've got more like a circuit board type of bill, and this thing likes to bend. It will not break. When you get it stuck in dirt or rock or anything like that and you still get fairly sharp hooks and all that so the components are good um so would i ever personally buy the mega bass vision 110s i would probably say no just because of the way i fish them um the way i fish jerk baits uh and there's a lot cheaper options um but if if you like quality if you like jdm that's definitely the right way to go um, very, very well-made jerk baits, but so is something like the Lucky Craft Slender Pointer. Even the Duo Realis baits, which are retailing for about $15 and look very, very good. Um, well, I hope this helped you kind of decide what kind of jerk baits you want. Uh, depending on the way you fish, it, it really just varies. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe and like the video. I've got a lot more like this coming, um, probably some better reviews as well. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. I'll get him, Race. All right, bye-bye, Mr. Fishy. He's like probably almost two pounds.